Well, 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 isn't this a surprise? <laughs> what? You thought you had killed me? Well, you did. In a sense. But part of me lives on in the magic that I cast with my final breath. It's not much, but it allows my spirit to linger for just a bit. I had to see what became of the Chosen One, and you do not disappoint. A bit worse for wear, though. A casting that kind of magic will do that to you, though. I would know. Relax, would you? I can't harm you here. I mean, you're dead. It's over. Tell me, did you know you would die before or after you fell in love with your knight? Because you are either the stupidest person I have ever met, or you're the cruelest. Such tragedy. Lovers torn apart for the sake of the greater good. How noble. How very, very good of you. And what has that goodness got you, hmm? You're dying in your lover's arms. Oh, how he wails over you, begging the gods to heed his prayer. Fool, the gods left us long ago. I had to finally silence him. Thank goodness for this small bit of magic left. Oh, child, don't look at me like that. I won't harm him. I couldn't, even if I wanted to. We are on the plane in between life and death, you fool. He is safely in the physical realm, away from my hands and yours. I couldn't harm your precious love, even if I wanted to. So, how does it feel? You saved the world. Huzzah! Oh, look at you. So upset. So petulant. Like a child. What did you expect to happen? You would just waltz off into the sunset with your lover? Nothing ever works out like that, I'm afraid. But hey, it's all over now. Now, you and I can just sit here and fade into the dark together. What? Now you ask me that? Fool. I wanted this world to end because it took everything I ever loved. You think I was born evil? No. I had a family and life. I just couldn't keep it. And it doesn't matter how. It was centuries ago. My dear, it's a bit too late to reform the villain, don't you think? Do you actually even care about me? Did you even spare a thought for me aside from, how can I kill this witch? Of course you didn't, because I was the witch, and you were the chosen one. Fate cast us in our roles. And there he goes again. So annoying. No. There's nothing you can do to comfort him. You're dead. And the sooner he realizes it, the better. No acts of true love here. Thank you very much. What kind of question is that? I mean, here you are. Dead. And you're asking me about my hobbies? <laughs> you really are too nice for your own good, aren't you? If you must know... I enjoyed baking. If I had destroyed this world, perhaps I would have remade it into one where bakers were treated like royalty. So, why aren't you crying? You can't be truly at peace with all of this. You shared one kiss with your love after waging a war for two years to save a world you can no longer be a part of. Why aren't you screaming? Why aren't you cursing out the gods? Something other than this 
this mild sadness. Me? Of course I'm pissed. I didn't want to die. But I have lived centuries more than you. So I suppose it's not much of a shock to me. But you... You're quite young. And quite fair. In another life, perhaps you could have danced with princes in dazzling ballrooms. In another life, I... I don't know. If I hadn't seen my village burned before my eyes, my parents slaughtered, my true love sent off to war, perhaps, perhaps I'd be more like you. But life didn't work out that way. No sense in having regrets. Listen, for what it's worth, I didn't truly view you as my enemy. You were more like a, a thorn in my side, an annoyance. Really? You're joking. Not once did you think about who I would be? Just all the rumors spread by the kingdom? <laughs> I played the part of the villainess perfectly then. Ah, uh, more please. He's a stubborn knight, isn't he? I mean, does he truly think shouting at your body will cause your silent heart to start beating? <laughs> yes, I suppose people do crazy things when in love. Still, nothing will change. It shouldn't be long now. Can you feel it? Your tether on reality slowly drifting away. Ah, now the tears come. Take heart, dear, soon. You won't even remember your own name, let alone who you left behind. Hmm? Y you're apologizing? To me? Whatever for? All I did was wish for your misery. I tried to kill you. Multiple times. And in the end, I succeeded. Well, I mean, I died too, but oh well. Oh, hush. Okay. All right. You win. I might have told a little lie. This bit of magic I had left over. Not really a bit. It's enough to bring me back to life. Maybe not with as much power as I had, but still. Still, I want you to have it. No. I have nothing left in this world. Perhaps the next one I find myself in will be better. But you, you do have something. You have someone. And even now, he's calling for you. I can hear the pain in his voice. And I must admit, even I cannot stand in the way of such devotion. Here, take this pendant. I insist, take it. The magic within it will return you to your life. Use it well. Love those who are precious to you. Protect what matters. And maybe, bake a cake just to remember me by, hmm? Kind? No, no. I am still a villainess through and through. I'm just, hmm, sentimental. Now, go. He's waiting for you. Best not to keep him in such torment. Goodbye, chosen one.